Just be like that, you fucking bop. Get some balatule. See all that scaffolding over there? It's gone. And that's the remain. There's a stairway going up, but how much longer will you want to continue to climb stairs to get to the upper floors of one Vanderbilt Tower? Uh, I don't think you want to do that much longer. As we see some new steel arriving there, this baby is climbing. Hmm? What are you gonna do? Start walking along the perimeter. As this magnificent skyscraper raises to its heights. What's that? 935. So, being as it is that you don't want to be climbing the stairs all the way up to the 58th floor or even before that, we see a elevator system being built here on the northern side of one Vanderbilt Tower. As we see T1 uh, rather, T2 is reaching down into the driveway as we speak. Uh, we might see a lift here. Okay, we got tension. And if you look in the reflection of the bank building, we'll see T1 moving. That's the horn that says, yes, I'm lifting major weight.
someone told me that these are kangaroo cranes. Yeah. Well, they're commonly known as jump crane. Now this person is telling me they're kangaroo crane. I don't know if that's a proper name or what. But uh, yeah, jump crane, kangaroo crane. Sounds like the same thing to me. Doesn't seem like uh, clarify what kind of new system they're using. But it's just said that they are the same crane that was utilized in the building of one Freedom Tower. But this, my friend, is an elevator system being constructed here uh, to raise more mundane stuff. I mean, like, when you get all the way up to a thousand feet, or even 400 feet of this 1,400 footer, how do you get cement all the way up there? Wow. That must be some mighty pumping system that brings that up there. Oh, yeah. So, the cargo of the freight material elevator is built on the outside. And then that part of the structure goes to the basement, serving the same purpose. So I'm taking a comedic approach this morning, but that's really serious question. How do you get all that material up there? One, we see them building a, what looks to be, what's gonna be an efficient moving elevator, exterior elevator. That elevator, more than likely, they'll remove after it's done. But the name of these two cranes, I don't know. I think they're just jump cranes. Yeah, you jump from the bottom instead of the side. So let's just check out the shape that one Vanderbilt is taking on. And while they're building that up, we're having a Thanksgiving what over here? A Thanksgiving market. Yeah. Woo. yeah, you think that's an apple pie? You know, we're all American. Try to get a piece of the pie. <laughs> hey, you guys really think that I'm moronic by making all these, you know, comments? I got one guy right into me and say, hey, moron, won't you shut up? <laughs> I'm trying to sit down and watch this. And you know what? The guy didn't even have the forethought to subscribe to my channel. I, you know, if, if, if one of my true subscribers say, hey, man, can you take that a little bit more serious? Ah! I consider, as a matter of fact, if you look at my my videos of lately, I didn't even, I wasn't even commenting that much. 
the thing is I changed angle from where I where, where I was filming from and he loved it but the ass uh, the person uh, he didn't want to subscribe you know he was too good to subscribe to my channel but he had the audacity to say that I'm call me a moron no that's not constructive criticism my friend you know like hey mr martin i really like your videos you know i like to sit down and and, and, and listen to a video where my children or someone can uh, you know that i'm concerned about can understand it can you like you know keep it keep it kosher you know i'll be like oh wow maybe i should consider that you know but i write back to him and like are you a subscriber he couldn't even but i already knew he wasn't you know I, I could just read his man. Are oh, oh, you reading people's mind? No. When a person call you a moron on, on on something that should be dealt with in a more civil manner, you you get a really quick insight into that person's uh, 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 state of mind, state of rationalization. So. Those of you who are genuine subscribers, you know, if you see anything, like I always say, I got no problem with words, but moronic doesn't have anything. I would not call you a moron. I didn't even call him a moron. All I, I wrote him back and I said, hey, man, are you a subscriber? And I haven't heard from the punk yet. You know, a lot of people are too good to subscribe. They're like, for whatever reason, you know, you go on and you see guys give you gar give give people garbage. They record a two minute piece of garbage, and he's got fifty thousand hits on it. You know, I'm like, oh, what rationalizes that? But it's cool, you know. I don't give you a video like once a month. So you're like, you get real, real comfortable with that. All I have to do is just lay back and wait for the channel and I'll just go on and get, get a nice uh, update. Anyway, I don't have to, you know, well, whatever, you know. I don't do it for you, I do it for me. But if you're going to criticize, ah, please be a subscriber. Yeah, so you can see the, the intricate shape that this building is taking on. And where you would like your office to be. If you're going to rent one of these million dollar spaces, that's well worth it. With the view of... Oh, wow. The pinnacle of the Chrysler building. I think the Chrysler building is much more beautiful than the Empire State Building. And that used to be the Verizon Building. And, and at one time, it was the MetLife Building probably about a year ago, where it says uh, Salesforce. It used to be the MetLife Building. So I guess in the MedLife management moved back into their own building. I guess that was uh, probably a, a renovation thing. So you see the entire neighborhood is being revitalized. Uh -huh. What, a month ago there was like scaffolding all along there? There's no scaffolding there anymore? No.